right, Shane. How you doing? Watson charity event. Who are you looking to guard? Who are you looking to shoot over? Who are you looking to just school? Man, I'm just looking to have some fun out here. Uh, there's so many, so many people that's going to be on the court. I, I think I might get a minute on the court. I mean, there's so many uh, entertainers and, and uh, athletes and actors and stuff. I don't know how we're going to all be able to play. So, it's going to be it's going to be fun, though. Shane, always every time you're here, you get shown a lot of love. How does that actually feel to be appreciated like that, Shane? It feels good, man. I mean, I've been boxing for such a long time, and to be able to, um, you know, for everybody to come up and recognize me, know me, and, uh, and uh, admire my fighting skills from, from back in the day, you know, whatever. And even now, when I was fighting, um, it's definitely a great feeling. You actually just recently called it a career, said over after. What, what led to that? Um, I think that, you know, I started, I started getting injuries and, um, you know, in the ring and, and like injuries like of being a little bit older and uh, not really being, being able to do what I want to do. I see a lot of different uh, things in there that I want to do, but I just can't do that. I'm going to split a second off or a second off and, uh, you know, start getting hit with shots and you know, being older and getting hit with, with shots is not a good thing because, you know, you can start getting punchy and, and, uh, and that live in the quality of your life, you know, a longer life. Life, the quality of a, of a life, a long life. You know. Speaking of quality of life, now that you have ended the career, what do you want to do now? Now I want to, I want to be, a, I want to train. I want to train fighters. You know, I've uh, I've become amateur fighters. I'm training my son as well. Uh, I'm right, Malik, Marquise, Marquise, sorry, Kenneth. <laughs> Malik, 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 Marquise, yeah. <laughs> So, so, so we're training you know, these young fighters up becoming fighters and trying to get them together. Are you still going to be sparring with Sergio Mora? I know he does show up once in a while up to your gym up over there and he does spar with you. Uh, I, you know, I'm going to wait a little bit, but I probably will do some sparring to you probably still me, see me in the ring still sparring a little bit here and there. But I'm going uh, to take a little vacation, a little break, and then come back to it. What qualities in your son do you see that mirror you or if not are a little better than you? I think I think that uh, his chin, his chin, speed, and power. Uh, he, he definitely has, and uh, he's going to be a, a fighter that people would like to see fight, you know, in the, in, the, in the future because he goes back and forth with the different fighters, whatever, whatever, whatever fighter it is, he likes to fight, and that's a good quality I think that he has and I have. In 2013, there was a lot of stars that shined. Uh, Danny Garcia, Mikey Garcia, Triple G, so many names. Out of all of those names, which one impressed you the most? Uh, I mean, Bradley made a big come up, too. Provider Bradley Cup. did real good, too. Yeah, Bradley. I mean, there's, I love those guys impressed me. I love, I love the guys that really go out and show their heart when they fight. Um, I think Danny Garcia did really impress me a lot when he fought to Lucas Batista. Both guys were showed that he can box as well as just punch as well. So he showed different dimensions of his, his boxing skills, which was uh, this is really